much you want to see our Louisville Urban League has tried to do that as much and as often as they can. I want to welcome my guests uh, who are here today. Lyndon Pryor was here not too long ago. It wasn't long. that long ago. No. We're always glad to have you, though. President and CEO of Urban League Louisville, Dr. Sanithia Bethel Hines is here, president of the Louisville Co Coalition for Black Maternal Health. It is good to see you. Nice Very to see good you. to right. see you. We've got so much work to do. Mm -hmm. But here's the good thing, and you all help me. Maybe I'm, um, maybe I'm wrong, but I'm, I'm hoping I'm right. For the first time in my 60 years, I feel like I see the needle moving. Mm -hmm. Maybe mm -hmm. for all of us, for mm -hmm. all minorities, for all those who are uh, maybe poor, the needle may be moving to equality and a chance for having a good life. Mm -hmm. Am I right there or am I being too optimistic? <laughs> I think you're seeing um, an increased focus. I think that is what happened with the pandemic um, and all of the things that went on in that time is that it shined a great big spotlight on a lot of the inequities and in a lot of different places. I think there were things that were very much, um, we were very much aware of and things that we kind of talked about all the time, but the pandemic showed us a lot of new things that we knew about in community, but that we um, really didn't talk about kind of in the macro sense. And so I think we see that and with that that has come an opportunity for us to begin to move. And so I will say that there is movement. Um, I do agree with you that there is um, some forward progress in a lot of different places. We wanted to be faster. We wanted to be bigger. Uh, we want to scale that movement, but it is, it is happening in places. It seems like though people are saying, oh, oh, especially those who are marginalized, we won't take that anymore. Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, folks have, have decided that, you know, what was the normal was yeah, never acceptable. I might acceptable. be poor, right. but you're not going to treat me like that anymore. Absolutely. You know, my skin may be black, but you're not going to treat me like that, that anymore. Is absolutely. You know, correct. I may speak Spanish, but you're not going to treat me like mm. that anymore. Yeah, and so there's been this true push for equity, for us to truly reconcile um, the, the wrongs of the past and begin to really move forward in a way that appreciates and, and really includes everybody, um, regardless of where they are, what station they yeah. are. Um, Which here is in how it should have been. From beginning. Like, from I, jump. like sometimes I just can't breathe, mm -hmm. honestly. And mm -hmm. I go, what, what, what were we doing? Right. Because if my brother, mm -hmm. and this is a true thing, I don't care if anybody doesn't believe me or not, but if my brother is not doing well, mm -hmm. then that means I'm not doing as well as I could be. We're connected. I am yours whether you like it or not. Mm -hmm. That's a simple thing. Absolutely. Yeah. And you are mine even if I don't like you. Mm -hmm. We're we connected. We're in this together. We're and in folks it have together. to understand that. Yeah, okay, so let's talk about what you're doing because you do do a lot. Yeah. Let's talk about, let's see if we can get as many things in. Sure. Uh, as, as you've got the, the new uh, league's education platform, the Kuman Learning Center, which mm -hmm. recently opened in Newburgh. Uh, Dr. Cynthia, you jump in here. Tell us about some of the new things going on. Well, I'm the president of the Louisville Coalition for oh, Black Maternal Health. That's right. Well, let's talk about that. Let's mm -hmm. talk about what you're doing because we are looking at that as well. Yeah. So our organization is a nonprofit organization that hopes to help improve health equity in Louisville around perinatal issues. So. We've got a lot of work to do there. Why is it that when we talk about those uh, prenatal issues, number one, black women die more, black women have more problems, uh, black women get less care? What's going on there? So uh, there's many factors to consider, um, stress, discrimination, racism, um, it affects the quality of care that women receive, and obviously that translates to bad outcomes, health outcomes. Mm -hmm. Things are going different. We had Mama to Mama here uh, the other day the, with the doulas. Yeah. Uh, and, but it's so funny, a lot of people were going, What's a doula? Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yes. And that's education that we need to get. How, how are you getting it out there? So um, we have events. We host events during Black Breastfeeding Week and Black mm -hmm. Maternal Health Week. And how are we doing there? I nursed my kids until they were two years old. Uh, and they were like, 
you go nurse that baby? And I'm like, yeah, I yes. am. Yeah. Two, it saved money, two too. Two to recommend it time. I didn't know that. Okay, yes. until two. Yeah. Uh, my mother, though, my daughter, once we were in church, and she kept saying, eat, trying to unbutton my shit. My mother was like, uh-uh, cut that off now. <laughs> she did. I said, oh, well, I'll do it when she when she's two. Yeah. Um, like, I don't know, where do they go? How do they learn? So right now, black women or black birthing folks are less likely to breastfeed. We're about 20 percent lower um, in breastfeeding initiation rates. And so um, currently we help by raising awareness around the issue of breastfeeding disparities in the black community. And we have an upcoming event that kind of does that, okay. the Chocolate Milk March. When, when, how can we find your events and name the things you want us to get to? And uh, Elisa, I'm coming. I got to get to their thing, so we're going to go a little bit over. Uh, how can we keep up? <laughs> She's laughing in my ear. <laughs> how can we keep up with what you do and what are the events coming up for you? So the Bla the Chocolate Milk March is this Sunday. I love that Chocolate Milk March. August the 27th from 11 to 3. Um, it is open to the community, but the race is $25 per person. The events are uh, free to the community and we we kind of you know we have a scholarship that we provide for individuals to increase representation for lactation support you can find the race on our website cbhmhlu.org or at facebook at the same name or you can go to run uh, run sign up and google chocolate mcmarch all right and um if we want to keep up with the Louisville Coalition for Black Maternal Health, that is the website that we use as well. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, keep that up. That is the march that they're doing, August 27th. Mm -hmm. uh, Lyndon, for you, you all always stay busy. Yes. I mean, somebody mm -hmm. called me the other day for expungement, mm -hmm. and they were like, what do I do? And I said, yes, oh, wait a minute, I don't know all the steps, but mm -hmm. call the Louisville Urban League, and That's they can right. probably tell you what to do. Uh, you all are also working, trying to do your best uh, um, doing things with education. Talk mm -hmm. about that. Sure, and I, I just want to say that we are we are sponsoring um, a sponsor for the Chocolate Milk March, and so Wonderful. we're excited to be a part of that most important work. But yeah, in the realm in the realm of education, school just started, and so we are still doing high dosage intensive tutoring out of school, and so we are doing that for K through 12 JCPS students um, through two mechanisms. One, you can sign up to go to one of our uh, one of the Kumon facilities. The Louisville Urban League is a part. Um, for uh, the Kumon facility in Newburgh, but there are other locations around the city, but we are paying for that for families to go because we want to stop learning loss and we want to close the achievement gap. But then we also are offering free um, S -E -S ACT prep um, tutoring for high school students as well, and so we're doing that free of charge. We know that that is an important exam for students looking to go to college and so it is remarkable. We're seeing great results from um, our ACT prep. Our students are now testing above the national average um, after only a few weeks of being in there and so we are strongly encouraging people to get involved in those. Get your kids engaged in that high dosage intensive tutoring. It is a must for our kids. Um, we have two large gaps um, among our with students in JCPS and we want to do our part to help close those. All right, to find out about the Learning Center and tutoring, mm -hmm. where do they go? You can go straight to the Louisville Urban League's website, so okay. LUL.org, and then go to the education page, and you can sign up right there. All right, Dr. Cynthia, we want to make sure that we didn't forget anything with you. We've got the uh, Chocolate Milk March. That is going to be Sunday, uh, August 27th, 11 to 3, at the Norton... Uh, um, healthcare, healthcare, learning, and, uh, sports healthcare and, learning and sports and learning center. You all know where that is That's at 3029 right. West Muhammad Ali. Did we forget anything else? No, I just, you know, want everybody to kind of think about the issues and come to the table and have a conversation. I think it's really important that um, we talk about it. All right. And I can just say on this, this is an everybody issue. We are, we definitely believe that black mamas matter. But one of the things that Dr. Sanithia informed me on is that the U.S., we are in the bottom five of developed countries when it comes to maternal health. And that's across race. And that, it is, the, it's yeah, a huge and, and issue for everybody. And it shouldn't be that way. Absolutely. Yeah, it, it's people who just don't have the opportunity to mm -hmm. do that, whether it's where you live or whether mm -hmm. it's where you don't have a, enough money, mm -hmm. uh, whether it's your skin color, all of that Absolutely. just gets in the way. Okay, I appreciate it. You all. No problem. Mm -hmm. Thank all you, right. Don. Okay, Elisa, I'm ready. Let's go. We've